All right, Greg Russell, NBC Detroit. Malcolm D. Lee, how are you doing on this great day? I'm well. I'm well. I got no complaints. Good. You know, it's cold. It's cold here in New York, but oh, you know, you're okay. Yeah, that, I'm in Detroit, that's, so that's I know that's what you mean. It. Yeah, I know you know. I know you know in the Midwest. I can relate. That's right, man. I I just gotta say, you know. I, this series has always been, and I'm talking about the movies, including now the series. It's always been a favorite, you know, amongst people because they like it. It's always about, you know, positive people, people who are doing stuff. I, it was just so funny to see that the first one came out in 1999. It seems like yesterday, if wow. you know what I mean. Yeah, and, no, it was the beginning of my career. Yeah. You know I mean? like, that was the first movie that I, that, that I, that I you know, I, I got to make. And it was fortunately something that that people really responded to and 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 it resonated with, with folks so yeah it's 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 been a, a nice you know part of my uh debut uh, and, yeah. and and part of my career it's, I'll, I'll ever i'll forever be linked with this with this franchise well, that's a good one to be linked with you know because <laughs> there's some I, I want you to forget about that one but no not with this one i have a couple of those i have a couple <laughs> of those too not this one people people, right. people enjoy People enjoy the, the, the you know, this, the, this story and these characters. Oh, that's for sure. And something else, you know, sometimes it's hard enough to get like a family reunion where you can get everybody back together, you know, at your house for whenever. You got everyone back. I mean, that's just phenomenal. Because usually there's going to be like somebody who looks like somebody or whatever. But you got them all back, man. Talk about the importance of that. Well, you know it didn't make any sense to have, you know, six of eight, five of eight. Mm -hmm. They're, they're a group, you know what I mean? The best man is integral. Like they're all, they're all integral to, 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 to each story. And so, you know, if it, it was either all or none. Um, and fortunately we were able to, to do it. They, they wanted to, to, to come back um, and finish off the, the, the story. Um, you know, it wasn't an easy task to, to get everybody back together and coordinate schedules, but, you know, we were able to accomplish it and, um, you know, we got it done. Right. No, that you did. And like you said, his story kind of like deals with the individuals and what's going on. And it's almost like when I say watching it, I almost felt like I was doing a Zoom with friends, just meaning these were folks when we were all, you know, 20 some years ago, all, you know, just full and ready to go. But of course, you know, life goes on and you see a little bit of yourself to an extent in each character. So I think it's very relatable. Yeah, no, that's the, that, and listen, that's what I was, I was trying to do back in 1999 when I first wrote the script in, in 98. I was like, I am not seeing myself or the people that I went to school with reflected on screen, on the big screen, right? Like, there, you know, there were a few times, you know, Love Jones, Soul Food, Way to Exhale. But, you know, Black men and Black educated men in particular were just like very stiff and checking there at this day at the door. And I'm like, that's not who I am or the people that I went to school. So like, I want to show that. And, you know, fortunately I wasn't the only one who wanted to see that. Right. Right. And like you said, yeah, people, I, I told friends, you know, what I was watching and doing and who I was going to talk to. So everybody in Detroit says hello. And I do mean probably everybody in Detroit. Hello Detroit. <laughs> And, and it's kind of great because like a lot of the guy buddies say, oh, yeah, well, hey, I'm going to watch, you know, maybe like tomorrow or, you know, when it comes out, I should say, and watch on their own. Ladies are planning watch parties for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. You know, they did the same thing on um, Best Man Holiday. They came out, you know, they all had the red scarves on and, you know, really wanted to, to, to show up and show out. You know, that, that, that opening weekend was amazing. You know, Universal Pictures made it feel like an event, like and and it was, you know, uh, to, to to reunite with the with this with this cast. I think that's great, you know, that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, um, you know, get together and and, and binge watch this series. I think it's a it it, it is a binge a binge worthy um series. I think. And I'm so glad you brought that up because I basically did that same thing. You know, just start it. I knew it was gonna be eight hours. You know, basically, so you take out the whole day. But it's one of those things where when you get to the end of Number one, you've got to go to number two, because it's like, I got to find out what's going on with, you know, such and such and so and so. I'm not giving anything away to people. Then you right. get to the end of two, and you're like, you just do the same thing until you get to eight. And you're like going, it's five in the morning, yeah, well, you and know, I feel good. That's one thing that, you know, I mean, even though we had some lean forward ability in Best Man Holiday, because we said, mm -hmm. hey, you know, 
happens and I'm getting married. So people are like, oh my God, what's that? So in television, it's, 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 it's a requirement. You have to like, you know, get people to, you know, say, hey, what's next? You know, right. tune in next week, right? Like, or tune in right now. Um, you know, so like that was part of the, the you know, one of the things that, that as, as I converted this to television, even your act outs, you know, have to have like some, oh, like, let's keep, you know, like, I can't wait to see what's happened after, you know, after the act break, you know, and, and again, like working with Dana Lynn North and working with the, the writers, seasoned television writers, it really like helped me understand how the structure of all that works. Mm -hmm. No, a a you're absolutely right. Like you said, just at the end, just get that fish hook to pull you right over to the next one and just keep it going. Well, Mel, we you, well you got it. This is going to be, a, I can tell already a hit over the holidays. So Malcolm D. Lee, thank you so, so much for your time. Always appreciate talking to you and enjoy this very much. And yes, as you know, your friends here in the Motor City will definitely be checking it out and probably more than once. I love to hear the sound of that. <laughs> All right. Malcolm, take thank care. Thank you very much. All you right. Take it. care. You too. Jackie, thank you.